The Lord pardon the people of this town, because I can't. When I dropped dead in the streets three weeks ago, I thought they'd bury me in style. Uh, a state funeral was the least of it, with heads of government and the nobility in attendance. I even look forward to the funeral oration in Irish. Uh, the greatest poet, of course. A seat in heaven for the man. And how I deserved better. Ha! <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> My corpse lay on Baggett Street for a fortnight. Before anyone even bloody well noticed it. <laughs> and when I was finally moved to the mortuary, I was abused by a medical student who couldn't open a bloody bag of crisps. <laughs> and then, to add to the indignity of it all, some feckin' clod stuck a label on my foot saying, unknown bard, probably foreign. Jesus. If it wasn't for a drunk cockman who thought I was his dead brother, I'd be still feckin' well lying there, unclaimed. Well, at least the man had the decency to bury me, like, you know. And where am I now, huh? Boxed in some common graveyard, surrounded by peasants. And people with no background. And when I think of the poems I wrote and the great prophecies I made, Jesus, I could choke. And now I can't, Henry, I can't write because the coffin is too narrow. And there's no light. And I'm trying to send this here through a medium. But Jesus, you know what they're like, table tapping bastards reeking of ectoplasm, and if you manage, tell me this now, if you manage to receive this, I'd be glad if you print it out, right? There's no point in me asking you to send it to me, because I don't know me bloody address. There you go, Patrick Albert.